See the bigger picture. 6.54 at number 106.9. All right, Australian Idol for Skeptics, the one TV show. Um, a lot of people I know love it for different reasons. Some yep. people love psychics, some people love skeptics. And I, I love the fact that they have a skeptic on the show, and that skeptic is Richard Saunders. Hi, Richard. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Oh, Richard, Richard, Richard. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I mean, I just... Is, is life sad when you're sceptical about everything? Oh. No? Absolutely. It's just the opposite, because when you're a sceptic, you really examine things closely. I mean, I love fascinating claims and weird and wacky stuff. And look, occasionally, if it's true, all the better. But uh, I like to know the truth, and it, it turns out the truth is far more wonderful and beautiful and, and full of awe than, than sceptic... Uh, um, when I'm talking about... Yeah, I get, yeah. That, I get that, but I read once a great um, uh, definition of the word faith, which was that faith... Oh, no. oh. Is that Richard? Yeah, we've lost him. Oh. What was, what's, your, what's your quote? Faith is what? Faith is believing in something for which you have no evidence. So... So that's the idea of yeah. believing in God, believing yeah. in... So on this show, right, so on this, the one, I, I still haven't seen it, and I love the idea of uh, what they were doing with the um, putting... Um, things inside the containers at the wharf, and, yeah. and the psychics had to go and find which one because that's really you can't just you can't fake yeah. that. You got to find. I mean, you, maybe you can get lucky, but it's pretty. It's, it takes a fair bit of luck. Oh, and there were millions of containers. You really probably couldn't even get lucky. So, what did Richard say when someone did? Did people find the right container? I uh, don't think anyone found the right container. That <laughs> right. <laughs> no, that was a uh, that was a tough round. Yeah. He was sort of more into the, you know, when people would have a big audience of people and they'd be going, Oh, hi, you, uh, I'm getting a Bob, a, ba, a, ba, a Bianca, a, ba, a Bromwin, a ba, Bill, a ba, ba. Yeah, and yeah. the person would be going, No, no, no. no. Oh, I must be over here. I must be getting it somewhere else. Richard was more into that, going, Well, you just fished around until you found someone who'd ever known a Bob. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've got a little bit of audio of Richard here. Okay, I get that this person has strong upper body framework. They're quite a strong built person. Brothers. I'm hearing brothers, uh, strong connection with brothers. It's interesting to note that what they said can mostly be described as generalizations and a few things hit the mark, from my point of view. That's okay. Him. I think we got him back. Richard. Yes, I'm sorry. There was some poltergeist activity here. <laughs> I, I really don't know what was going on. <laughs> That's all right. Richard, um, I, I'm, I'm with you. You made a good point where you said that the truth is, uh, is way more fascinating. And I actually think that uh, a lot of these... Well, in fact, all of these people that say that they can see into the future, I think that they're fraudsters. I think they're... they're they're almost criminal in the way that they prey on the vulnerability of people who are desperate to speak to, uh, you know, yeah, lost loved ones, recent yeah. lost mm. one, loved mm. ones, and and that type of thing. It, it, is it possible in any way that somebody can see into the future or speak to dead people? Well, you know, I don't know. I sincerely doubt it. Um, I really do doubt it because of skeptical movements around the world have been going strongly for at least 30 years seriously examining these things and we've yet to come up with a winner but that doesn't mean tomorrow someone won't come along and, and show us all and knock our socks off yeah. but it's a common misconception to think that all people in this game are frauds and after your money and terrible con artists where in fact most people sincerely believe they have special wonderful magical powers yeah. and yeah, they're deranged they're deranged well they are, well, they are. They, 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 they're absolutely deranged oh, they, they, I, they, I would say if you think that somebody deluded. thinks they can speak to dead people they are seriously deluded well, and deranged well that's really rude Ashley some people well, well, it's the truth it is to call people deranged because of something <laughs> they believe it's very close minded honestly well, what a, but, but oh. there is the case where uh, these, some of these people who sincerely believe they can talk to dead people uh, actually think they're really helping people. It's, it's a yes. really tricky area. It, it is a really mm. tricky area. Have you been amazed uh, on the show, Richard? Have you seen Have you seen anything that sort of um, sort of made you battle with your scepticism? What can I say? Well, to date, no. But there's always tonight. Yeah. Do you remember yeah, a time? Do you remember a time in your life, Richard, when you have been pleasantly surprised when you've gone in sceptical? And gone, actually, oh, okay, I'll go with that. Not not with the paranormal or the supernatural. No, no, but with, really, any, with anything. Really 
Uh, I suppose like everybody, yes. I, I, I guess I've been surprised from time to time where things haven't been exactly what I suspected them to be. But again, my specialty, my field is the paranormal and the supernatural. I mean, also, and, you know, we have to remember, no. there was a time mm. when people were, you know, burnt as witches for believing that the world was round. So, you know... Yeah. <laughs> that, that's interesting. But the people who did the burning were other believers, not not rational people, not skeptics, not scientists. No. Well, I like the way I like the way you are a skeptic, but you're not uh, not willing to 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 write it off. Yeah, and say, me too. No way that it could oh, ever I happen. I, I, I can't do that. I can't. I can't. To do that would turn me into a believer in the other way, and I won't allow that to happen. Oh, well, you're an interesting chap. Hey, the series final is on at <laughs> seven thirty tonight, Channel Seven. Thanks, Richard. Thank you. 6.59 at number 106.9. We've got news coming up in 60 seconds.